start this and let's run into this so it's coming something like this okay now if you want to add still more details into this what you have to do is increase the spacing of the voxels now what are voxels voxels are same like pixel but this contains the volumetric information so I'll just grab this and reduce the spacing so that will increase more quality and let's preview this now it's gonna take much more longer time so let You can see the writer time has increased. If you want a good quality output, it can take hours, several hours. So it depends on what kind of output you want. Let's pause the video. Stop. Let's see what do we have over here. Here we go. Look at the fire now. There's much more detail into the fire. Okay. Uh, you can use free ray to illuminate this with the global illumination. You can just go into rendering, come down, assign, free ray, and just turn on the global illumination. I just turn off this and reduce the quality. Okay, look at this, it's so simple. Now if you want to play with the fire's color, the illumination, you can just go into rendering parameters, not this, this rendering parameters. Come down and you can just adjust the color. Now you don't have to calculate it again because we have already simulated the particles. Now we just have to adjust the colors and the opacity. So you can just increase this, render this. Okay. It's simple. Okay, and there's a separate rollout for V-Ray. You can just increase the V-Ray global illumination multiplier so that you can get more brightness with this fire. Okay, and if you want to render this in a simple scan line, just assign the scan line render. And what you can do is just assign a single Omni. Let's close this. Current lights, standard lights, Omni. I just place this Omni at this. Now, <clears throat> the Omni won't render shadows because it is inside this thing. So we have to exclude this part. So I'm going to modify and gonna exclude that portion so that it won't get calculated and it can render shadows also. So in the camera, maybe I'll use area shadows. There we go, we are getting area shadows, but I think they are way too blurred. So we can reduce that. Dimensions, maybe three, three. And even if we have to change the color.
thing, a triple thing. Five, five, and change the color. Or you can just pick this from the fire. And right now, <coughs> the light doesn't have PK, it's not fading out. So let's turn on the DK inverse and increase the radius a little bit so that the light will start fading from this gizmo. See? Pretty simple. Okay. It's very easy. And thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you.